Hi, my name is Keith Cooper from No Flight Images and in this short video I'm going to cover an aspect of printer use that uh, I've been asked about a few times. Specifically this is the Epson AT 8550 and uh, somebody contacted me and said that uh, they were getting black smudges on the printer. Uh, they were printing fairly thick media now, they'd set the thick media setting, which lifts the head a bit, and so it doesn't make it less likely. But it's always possible that you will get, after a while, some ink buildup on the print head itself that will just catch the leading edge of a piece of paper or piece of thin card that's going through the printer. Now, there are cleaning options. So there's the normal head cleaning option. Uh, there is a uh, roller cleaning option. These are from the menu here uh, on the uh, on the screen uh, But they don't address ink buildup in the printer itself. Now I should emphasize this is not an Authorized service procedure. So you try this at your own risk. I've done similar things on printers for 20 years and never had a problem however a warning is required. Um, first of all, the print head is normally over here and I need a way of actually getting the print head across and to actually move the print head. Now normally the print head is locked in position when the power is off so you can't just slide the print head across and get the bits you want to clean. Uh, this is the bit that I say is entirely uh, you know, at your own risk. So I'm going to start off by pulling the power to the printer. Not something I normally recommend doing. Uh, you can do this by the switch if need be, by the main switch. And we'll put that back on. And we've got power back. Uh, the light's flashing here. So I'm going to press that. That actually switches it off because it flashes when it detects a power interruption. So I'm going to put the power on. And I'm watching the print head here. Starts moving. We're going to actually hit if the print head is going to come right across over here. And when it does, I'm going to pull the power again. There we go. Now I've got no power, and we have the print head able to be moved. Now the print head is about two thirds of the way across. If you interrupt it when it's fully across, there is another locking mechanism over the other side, which may not mean it can be freely moved. However, I can just gently move the print head. Now, I'll add some light inside so we can see this on the, uh, on the video from the phone. There we go. There we have, we can freely move it. First of all, there are some ink pads over at this side. Now this is where the printer normally rests the heads when it's not in use. And I can clean those with a bit of kitchen roll, kitchen towel. Uh, kitchen roll, kitchen towel, it's different things, different parts of the world. Uh, all I want is to take a piece of that, I don't want it, and I just want to dab it on here. And lo and behold, loads of ink. Now, that's not a surprise because uh, this, this pa these pads here are there to actually collect ink. And also to, uh, that's part of the cleaning process. They also keep the heads moist when the uh, head is parked over here. So you don't want these he heads to dry out, these pads over here. However, you may find some ink buildup. Now, particularly printers that have been used a while, you may find there is ink buildup along, there's a small bit of foam here, there's a rectangular pad area, and there are some other parts around the head here. Look for any buildups of ink. Now, um, this light, by the way, uh, I'm from a local supermarket, uh, battery powered LED light really useful as a photographic light. Now I have actually looked at using this and I do take these with me when I'm doing industrial photography jobs. Very useful lamps uh, and a USB charger as well. Uh, but anyway, 
there's some ink can build up here, but the other area where ink can build up is underneath the print head itself. Now, that's tricky to get to, and the way I would normally do this is to take some kitchen roll, fold it over, say two, three times, not too thick, make a small piece like that, lay it down on the area where the print head goes over, and slide the print head over it. there's some ink. Now be careful with doing this, don't overdo it, don't accept, expect to get the thing entirely clean, you won't. Uh, other areas to look at are, we look in here, uh, this area down the bottom, if you do borderless printing there will be ink overspray in all of this area around here. Uh, that's worth cleaning up as well. Also, if you use rag-based papers, thick papers, art papers, you will get paper dust. That builds up as well and you will get gunk yeah, around it. Mix mixture of ink and paper dust makes a black sticky gunk which makes a right mess inside printers. So. Um, this printer has not been used enough to warrant this cleaning, so I'm not going to go through it all. But you'll know when you get the problems because you'll get at the leading edge perhaps bits of black ink on the leading edge of prints. Um, I don't want to suggest you do this at all often unless you actually need to do it. But I've used it to rescue printers in the past which have been really clogged up. Um, there's a, an article I'll link to about generalised printer cleaning which covers more details about various cleaning products. I've used nothing, I've just used a kitchen roll and it's just absorbed some ink from that way. Now, the thing to do when you're finished is to carefully put the power back in. Now I've put the power back in and printers do not like being left like this. So. We'll press that once, press it once again, and it will go through the uh, printer confused on startup process, which is where it doesn't know where the head is. So it will move things back and forwards, and do some testing, and it should be okay. Once it's done this, by the way, uh, do an ordinary nozzle check to check that everything's on. It may take a clean, it may take a nozzle check to get things working well again. I've had no real problems with this printer whatsoever. It's been very reliable. But as I say, I have had a couple of people actually ask me about cleaning it after they've had uh, problems with ink buildup. It's almost always connected with um, using thick papers. And uh, so it doesn't need to be a problem. It says uh, the power was turned off improperly. Yeah, we'll dismiss that. And it wants to do a check, uh, run a sheet of paper through, uh, and it'll be, I'll just go back to home there so it's okay. Uh, the printer is okay there. I can shut it down normally. There we go. Park the heads, and there we go, it's off. Uh, say, uh, very simple process, um, do it at your own risk, be careful, don't expect to get the inside of the printer absolutely spotless, uh, you probably won't. Um, hope that's been of some use, uh, please do feel free to subscribe to the channel, uh, I've got lots of printer and photography related stuff, and uh, thank you very much.